This vast land is unparalleled in terms of biodiversity, untamed areas, and enduringly rich traditions. This stunning and expansive continent is the cradle of humanity. There are no limits to the wonders and beauties of this country. Buckle in for a love story. Welcome to Africa. Africa may not always be on the radar for the typical visitor, but those that go have the chance to experience the ideal fusion of the East and the West, the wild and the urban, and the old and the modern. Africa will capture your heart whether you're a frequent traveler or a wide-eyed first-timer. Seeing the continent alone is an amazing experience and justification for traveling there. Join us on today's video as we explore 10 of the most unforgettable tourist attractions for your vacation in Africa. Number 10. Cape Town Cape Town is one of the most popular tourist attractions on the continent. Located at South Africa's southernmost point, not far from where the Atlantic and Indian Oceans converge at the Cape of Good Hope. It is very simple to fall in love with this city on your first visit, because it is both culturally rich and aesthetically lovely. In the city center, Table Mountain rises and along its Atlantic Ocean coastline, stunning white sand beaches like Clifton and Cam's Bay are framed by the spectacular Twelve Apostle Rock formations. The city is also home to many galleries, restaurants, hotels, local shops, and museums. You should take some time to tour the downtown area near Long Street, Green Market Square, and the Victoria and Alfred Waterfront. Number 9. Zanzibar, Tanzania When visiting Zanzibar, it's like entering a different planet where time has stopped, and there is only one city, Stone Town, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You can lose yourself in the beauty of Stone Town by wandering its winding lanes past old mosques, bustling bazaars, and rides with intricately carved doorways. The island in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Tanzania is where Arab those fishing boats still ply the picture-perfect turquoise sea. The rest of the island is full of beautiful beaches where days are spent lounging on white sand or snorkeling and diving in the colorful coral reefs encircling the island, away from the bustle of the city. Actually, it feels like a tiny town. At the island's northernmost point, Nungwe lies a well-liked beach resort. Number 8. Giza, Egypt You'll never forget the sensation of riding a camel to see the sunrise or set over the Giza pyramids in Egypt. Egypt's most famous landmarks are the Great Sphinx and the Pyramids, built in the 26th century BCE. Cairo, the capital and largest city of Egypt, is a fascinating place to visit and is close to the pyramids of Giza. Cairo, located on the banks of the Nile River, is a busy city that never seems to calm down, even late at night. There are many things to see and do where ancient history and a modern metropolis collide with a trip to the Egyptian Museum at the top of the list. Many people do not consider Egypt to be in Africa. The Great Pyramid of Giza, the Pyramid of Menkor, and the Pyramid of Chaffer can all be found in the Giza Necropolis. Many people must have the Giza Necropolis on their travel wish lists. Pyramids and tombs along the banks of the Nile serve to revive the ancient Egyptian civilizations. Not the Africa that comes to mind right away, but definitely a region of Africa that everyone should travel to. Number 7. Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe and Zambia You'll understand why locals refer to Victoria Falls as the smoke that thunders if you visit during the rainy seasons when the water volume is at its highest. The mist that spews back up like thick smoke and the sound of the water flowing over rock and plunging into a pool 300 plus feet below sounds like the roll of thunder. It's a striking sight. Victoria Falls, which forms the border between Zimbabwe and Zambia and is safeguarded as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is located on the powerful Zambezi River. The waterfall's length, which results in a 1.7-kilometer-long curtain of water as it falls, is just as remarkable as its tremendous plummet. You should visit the Zimbabwean side of the falls for the best full fall views, where you may hike along a route to several overlooks. Be prepared to get wet when the water level is high. If you're courageous enough, you can swim in Devil's Pool, practically at the top of the falls before they crash down, down, down. This is all possible on the Zambian side of the falls. Number 6. Soaks of Marrakesh, Morocco Morocco's Marrakesh is the ideal gateway to this interesting North African nation, which is reachable via overnight ship from southern Spain. The capital and fourth largest city of Morocco, Marrakesh, is situated in the west of the country. This walled Medina was a part of the ancient Berber Empire. Spend the day exploring the city's confusing streets, lined with soaks, marketplaces, that offer everything from spices to jewelry to vibrantly colored traditional apparel and slippers. One of the most popular sites in Marrakesh, the Kautubia Mosque, dates back to the 12th century and features a Moorish minaret that is a part of the city skyline. Make a reservation for an early morning hot air balloon flight to get a fresh view of this colorful, furious, and incredibly charming city. As you glide above Marrakesh, you will see the sunset on the rooftops ablaze. Number 5. Trekking in Rwanda, many animal lovers put seeing endangered mountain gorillas in their natural habitat on their bucket list. More than half of the world's wild population still lives in Rwanda's Virunga Mountains. Treks to visit these magnificent monkeys take place in Volcanoes National Park. 
You must sign up for a guided tour that calls for a permit instead of venturing alone. The capital of Rwanda, Kigali, is praised for being one of the cleanest cities in Africa despite being one of the continent's smallest nations. Additionally, it is only 2.5 hours from the gorilla trekking, making it simple to visit this new tourist attraction. Would you take up this adventure? Well, for what it's worth, it's highly recommended. Number 4. Sunrise over the dunes of Namibia Namibia, a unique location in Southwest Africa, is frequently disregarded while making travel plans for the continent. There shouldn't be. The Namib Desert and Sasasli are only two examples of the nation's many experiences and unique scenery. Sasasli, a massive flat salt pan part of Namib Nakluf National Park, has been shaped into an alien environment of towering dunes and lonely valleys dotted with petrified dead trees. It is especially breathtaking in the morning when the rising sun illuminates and highlights the sand dunes, the skeleton coasts of Somain because of the shipwreck skeletons that crash here along the foggy Atlantic coast and Etosha National Park, one of Africa's best wildlife reserves are two more top attractions in Namibia. Number 3. Serenity by the Sea in Sahara, Tunisia Tunisia is Africa's nation facing the Mediterranean Sea and is also its most northerly nation. It is a stunning, sunny location where European and Arab elements coexist. Due to its lovely coastline along the Mediterranean Sea, Tunisia is a well-liked winter sun vacation spot for Europeans. The island of Jerba is the ideal location for indulging. Then explore the Sahara Desert for additional stunning views. Tunisia's interior is desert, although its most beautiful region is the Grand Erg Oriental. You'll find a sea of undulating orange sand set against a clear blue sky. Explore the area on foot, camel, or in a dune buggy. Number 2. Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania with a height of 19,341 feet, Tanzania's Mount Kilimanjaro, commonly known as Kili for short, is the tallest mountain in Africa and the highest freestanding mountain in the world. It isn't a part of a range. It is a dormant volcano that rises from the Serengeti Plains and provides a breathtaking backdrop for wildlife safaris. Most visitors to Kili do so to reach its top. The walk is particularly well-liked because it requires neither mountaineering gear nor knowledge of rock climbing you won't have to contend with the severe weather hazards of scaling the tallest mountains on other continents, including Mount Everest. You must be in the decent physical condition and have acclimated to the altitude. You must join a guided tour. Climbing to the peak takes at least six days. Number 1. Tanzanian Safari Enter the Ngorongoro Crater The Ngorongoro Crater, the world's biggest inactive, empty, and unbroken volcanic crater, was formed about 2.5 million years ago. It is one of Tanzania's major safari destinations and one of the seven natural wonders of the world, along with Victoria Falls. It is also at one end of the previous dimension Great Migration Route, and during this time of year, huge herds of grazing animals like zebras and wildebeests can be observed here. Visitors stay in lodges situated on the crater rim and descend to the bottom for all-day wildlife drives. On a safari, it is relatively simple to see wildlife, especially large cats, due to the absence of trees. The possibilities are endless. The culture is gifted. The land is vast and boundless full of life. Africa is beyond words and only experiencing it will do any justice to this amazing continent. Which is your dream African vacation destination? Comment below. Make sure to like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel for more such wanderlust filled videos in the upcoming days. Until we catch up on the next video.